What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode, it's episode number 46 and boy do we have an episode today. We're on an 8 game win streak right now, our best run of the season but today we've got Everton away at Goodison Park in a tricky Premier League test. The second leg of our Europa League round of 32 clash against Fenerbahce, if we get through that we'll add a draw for the round of 16, Burnley at home and then the FA Cup last 16 battle at home to Jose Mourinho Spurs who said sent us packing in the semi-finals last season. A scouting update, an academy update, tons of stuff to get through. You know the saying, let's just get straight to it. So first game away at Goodison, the Toffees right now eight points off the drop zone and looking to secure Premier League football for another season. But for us, right now five points behind Chelsea with 12 games to go. We need to extend the winning run if we're to stick with Frank Lampard's side. First game on the back of the big win in Turkey, it's Everton away. I have to say, if the Toffees were to go down, I certainly would be raiding their side for a few of their players. They've got some amazing players in their team. You've got Joseph Brekolo, Gilfie Sigurdsson, Ferran Torres, obviously up top, Moise Keane. I mean, it's a, it's a really solid team. Why well, have struggled so much this season? I, I can't put my finger on it. James, your ball, your ball, your ball, yes. I tell you, War Prowse is such an underrated player in our team, man. He, he really is so good. His ball retention's brilliant. His vision's great. And as we know, he does have an end product on him too. Nice build up there. It's Bakayo, Saka. And Pickford makes the save to prevent him from getting the goal at his near post. Still 0-0. Good start from Forrest as the Rock gets up, but heads it over the bar and behind for a goal kick. Good start, though. Chance here for the Toffees to take the lead against the run of play. Delph out wide to Brekolo, plays a 1-2. It's Fabian. Tamori comes out to meet him across the middle. And Mason had to be alert to nod it behind for a corner. Tough first half. This Toffees dominated possession. Haven't done too much. But as things stand, we're set for a 0-0. Half-time, goalless. And we, we need to find a winner. A draw isn't going to cut it. Check the scores at half time. Chelsea are 2 0 up at Bramwell Lane. So they'll be extending the gap in the race for fifth place if we can't find a winner ourselves. Whole half to play. I'm confident. I'm confident. But at the moment, there's not been that many chances to report. But as Origi gets going, you know he's been amongst the goals this season as Pickford denies him from range. Still 0 0. Got to find a breakthrough here. Torres, oh, nice little ball through to. Keen Watson comes to meet him, can't overcommit. Well done, Mason. And Mason, keep running, mate. Keep running. There you go. Ask for it, son. The boulder charging forward. And away we go on the break here. Good hurdle by the rock. And Saka. And Saka. And Origi gives us the lead. 21 minutes to go. And it's our top scorer with goal number 16. Forrest in front. But how did the goal start? Like most of them do. Mason winning it back. He just causes so many problems when he storms forward. And even when he's not directly involved in the goal, scoring or picking up the assist, he causes problems to opposition back lines. That's a brilliant swivel finish by Divock past Jordan Pickford. And finally, Nottingham Forest have the lead. Almost there, lads. Almost there. Approaching the final few seconds as we still lead by one. And who is there to win it back again? What a performance from Mason Watson today. He's been literally everywhere. And now as Marco on the turn finds Bakayo Saka, this could be it, this could be the game. The Wrap it up baby, points are in the bag. Bakayo Saka storming forward, gets our second. It's over, it's over once again. How does the goal start? Mason Watson winning it back. I mean, the guy is just absolutely unreal. And I, I wish you could get the full statistics and see how many goals he sort of starts, if you will. It's extraordinary. Nine straight wins for Nottingham Forest. We extend our best ever run of form. Huge three points here. Had to work hard to get them, but we do leave with them. Even when still deadlocked at the break, I still felt confident we'd find a goal at some point, despite Everton's possession-heavy start of play. And whilst Mason was superb, no surprise for man the match, what a performance from Bakayo Saka today. And this is the significance of the Ben Chilwell signing. Now we've pushed this guy further forward, he's going to be a lot more involved in our goals as he was involved in both today. And with Chelsea winning once again, but Spurs slipping up at home to Brighton. They've now dropped down to fifth, and the gap between us and them is just four points now. And only five points off a Champions League spot as well. Might be a bit too ambitious to wait for CL football at the city ground next season, but we're still within a shout. So second of four, and it's time for our Europa League round 32 second leg. And after our demolition job in Turkey, we hold a 
3-0 scoreline heading back to the city ground. So I feel a fully rotated side for the game with Burnley at home on the weekend needing to be another big three points. Hopefully get through a minimal fuss and into the round of 16. There is a debut tonight for Morgan Bell. Yes, the 17-year-old at the academy, starting alongside brother Jay. That's going to be fun to see. And, um, yeah, I feel confident. Leading 3-0 from the first leg. I can't just have too many problems here as Jay feeds through the top scorer. Zeko! Oh, great save. No one's got more goals in this competition than the Bosnian. He's just so good. Ferguson to Samba. If we can get an early goal here, that'll do us the world of good. Jay on the ball, looking for his bro, Morgan. You love to see it. Bell. Oh, what a run. Morgan. Oh, oh, oh. oh it would have been a dream for the teenager if his brother assisted him a goal on his debut. Just couldn't keep it down. Adrenaline got the better of the kid there. Careful, don't overcommit. Don't overcommit. Oh, just wide the post. Fenerbahce, half an hour to go. Haven't we done enough tonight? If they would have caused a fight back, they needed to play better in the first half. Still tied at 0-0. I think this tie is over. As Fry sends it long and Morgan controls. And Bell over his head. Looking to get round his man. And he's... Oh, he's done brilliantly there, Morgan Bell. Great work from the teenager. And hangs one up to Zeko. Oh! It should have been an assist for the kid. It fell to the top scorer. But he couldn't keep it down. Gets underneath it from two yards. Puts it over. Good save by Darlow with a chance still alive. And, oh, Darlow again with another brilliant save. But a penalty surrendered as I was trying to clear the ball. And ended up lunging in with Lewis Travis. Oh, what a shame, man. It's been a, a nine-game winning run in all competitions. It was going to be ten undefeated. But now it looks as though Fenerbahce are going to win the leg, if not the tie. Vaca to take. Oh, always believing. Carl Carlo pulls off the heroics and extends the undefeated run. What a save. Ten straight games in all competitions undefeated. And whilst we didn't win tonight to make it ten wins in a row, we are through to the last 16. Carl Darlow bailing us out. Dominated possession, so our visitors couldn't get too many chances tonight. But right at the end, Darlow with a brilliant double save. And then the penalty stop too. Brilliant goalkeeping. And I'll give him the man of the match as well. Morgan played well, but he's too young to drink the bubbly. So Carl gets the champagne for extending our undefeated run. And with the scores there, every tie was played tonight at some point. So I think the draws has now just been made for the last 16 Europa League. Yeah, there's the match rescheduled email and the tournament prize money email. So, let's see who we'll be taking on in the next round. I uh, don't think there's a, uh, a news article, so we'll have to get it the old-fashioned way through the standings. Last 16 in the Europa League, where Nottingham Forest will be taking on... Dun, dun, dun... Oh, no! God! Oh, man! West Ham in the last 16. I've talked about them a few times this season. They went into the Europa League along with us. And we've got them in the last 16. A battle between two rising clubs in the Premier League. West Ham in the last 16. I, I think we're favourites for that. Bring them on. I love all English affairs in a continental competition. I think the atmosphere is just so unique and so cool. And I think what we'll do is in the next episode, we'll have both of the legs. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a foursome there. Norwich, the two legs, and then Aston Villa away at Villa Park as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, man. David Moyes, we're coming for you. So, third of four, it's the Clarets at home as we wrap up February. They're surely safe for another season in the Premier League. But for us, we're now five points behind Chelsea in fifth and seven behind Spurs, who won yesterday. We need to return to winning ways here if we're to keep pace with the lads going for European football. Third of four, Burnley at home. I'm absolutely buzzing after that penalty save from Carl Dardo. I thought for sure our undefeated run was coming to an end, but that was amazing. Heroic stuff from Carl. And whilst we know Sam next season is probably going to make the step up to our backup goalkeeper, Darlo. Darlo will stay here till he retires, man. I'm, I'm sure of that. As a third choice goalkeeper, we, we'll always have a place for him. As Mason comes out to win it back and try and start a break here. Origi controls and gives it back to the Rock. He needs a teammate, and he's got one in cash. And now King, and look who's on the edge. It's got to be one. Of course it is. Divock Origi smacks it home. 17 goals in the Premier League. Stindl to Brownhill, going for goal. And oh, oh, I thought it went in. I thought he just rocketed one from range. 
And I think Sam before he thought it was in as well. Just wide the post and into the side net in. Ben on the ball. Looking to send through Bakayo Saka. And he's done so. A brilliant through ball. And that's a lovely weighted ball into King. Who rounds half and wins us a penalty. Great ball. Joe takes down Josh. And that might be a straight red for the England international. No, no card but a penalty. And since Josh won it, I think he deserves to take it. We missed our last penalty, of course. Don't forget, through Dzeko in the last episode. But I've got confidence in the Norwegian as he sends Joe the wrong way and makes it two. That should do it now. Points in the bag for Forrest. 2-0. Back to winning ways with a 2-0 victory back home. But we know who's coming next. 11 game on beaten streak. Impressive. But Spurs in midweek in the last 16 of the cup here. That's a different beast. Once again, we look so good when going forward. And that's the biggest change I've noticed in switching to this system with wingers. We look so much more offensively unstoppable. And man, that's to Josh for setting up our first goal for his strike partner. And in scoring the penalty, he won himself as well. We love Divock to pieces. He's our main source of goal. Goals, but his partner in crime is still very impressive. So first month and now time for our scouting updates and academy update as well. Uh, I've rejected a few players including Isaac Shaw who's going to go as his potential is taking a decrease but Ed Cox look at that potential there. Shame the overall is shocking but he looks very good for the future. And as for Denmark, going to give one contract today, and that will be to Lucas Knudsen, who has a high overall value to begin with. I'm liking the academy. Obviously, we know now Robinson, our future number one, looks like he's our next superstar. But there are still a few players here that could be really good in the future. Callum Cox is just so little at five foot nine, despite the amazing potential. But uh, yes, there's a few players here that I'm excited about. I, I, I must say, they look really good. So fourth and final game, and after an 11 game unbeaten streak, this is the big test. It's Jose Marino. Mourinho Spurs in the last 16 of the FA Cup at home as we look to get revenge on the side that dumped us out at the semi-finals last season. Fourth and final one. I'm, I'm pessimistic, but come on, Nottingham Forest. Let's pick up a big scalp and make the quarters. I always talk about it. I feel like the key in these games is holding out for as long as you can, but it's easier said than done on ultimate difficulty, but I'm, I'm motivated, man. Switching back to the diamond narrow system here to not allow Spurs too much freedom through the middle of the park. And hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll do okay. I, I believe, I believe. It's a great ball by Tamori to Cash, who nods down and Jekko gives it back to him. And as we look for our first chance here. And it's the big Bosnian. Bell. Oh, Rigi. Just wide. Another game against a big team where we've made a bright start. We just can't seem to get that goal. But as Dzeko gets away. Yes! The big Bosnian smacks it in. And Forrest lead. I bought him in for a different option. And he has been nothing short of sensational this year. Holds off his man. Uses his big frame. And smacks it past Lloris. In at the near post. Forrest in front. 23 minutes in though. Long way to go. Give Spurs an easy chance. We defended so well in this first half. Don't allow them an easy one. Oh, Darlo, what brilliant goalkeeping. Always believing. Oh, great ball. Kane. Ball in. Tomori. Off the line. All hands on deck. And Travis can't get it clear. Worrell does enough. 45 minutes away from our second scalp of the series, both coming in the cup. That man's goal, that man's firing blanks, but second half to play, anything can happen. Kane on the ball, looking to possibly turn and get a shot away. Watch the through ball, Matty did just that. And the Danes are not fully clear as we try and pass out from the back. 25 minutes away, still the lead is one as Matty finds Jekko. Back to the right back. Oh, that's a brilliant recovery challenge. Well, we are deep into stoppage time. We just want a corner, but it's surely all over. It is surely all over. Bell's delivery cleared away, but there it is. Our second scalp of the series, both coming in the cup, and Forrest march on to the quarterfinals. We hold off Spurs, we get the victory, and we get our revenge. It was a very scrappy game. There weren't really that many chances getting created, but defensively tonight, we really did stand strong. And I thought Joe, in particular, was solid tonight. And this is why the club captain still has a place in his squad. It might be his final season, but that was one of his best performances. What a game, and we are through. And that will end today's episode of the Lockdown 
career mode as well guys so a massive thank you for watching i really hope you have enjoyed it if you did enjoy today's episode then please do drop a like much love to you all and i'll see you for the next episode featuring the fa cup quarter final draw and in both legs of our europa league round of 16 tie against west ham very soon